Jewels of the Pauper by Horacio de la Costa S.J. There is a thought that comes to me sometimes, the old captain said, as I sit by my window in the evening, listening to the young men's guitars and watching the shadows deepen on the long low hills, the hills of my native land. You know, we are remarkably poor people. Poor not only in material goods, but even in the riches of the spirit. I doubt whether we can claim to possess a truly national literature. No Shakespeare, no Cervantes has yet been born among us to touch with immortality that in our landscape, in our customs, in our history which is most vital, most original, most ourselves. If we must needs give currency to our thoughts, we are forced to mint them in the coinage of a foreign tongue. For we do not even have a common language. But as poor as we are, we yet have something. This pauper among the nations of the earth hides two jewels in her rags. One of them is our music. We are sundered one from another by 87 dialects. We are one people when we sing. The condemnants of Bulacan awaken an answering chord in the lutes of Leyte. Somewhere in the rugged north, a peasant woman croons her child to sleep, and the Visayan listening remembers the cane fields of his childhood and his mother singing the self-same song. We are again one people when we pray. This is our other treasure, our faith. It gives, somehow, to our little uneventful days a kind of splendor, as though they had been touched by a king. And did you ever notice how they are always mingling our religion and their music? All the basic rites of human life, the harvest and the seed time, the wedding, birth and death are among us drenched with the fragrance of incense and the coolness of music. These are the bonds that bind us together. These are the soul that make us one. And as long as there remains in these islands one mother to sing Nana's lullaby, one boat to put out to sea with a memorial rowing song, one priest to stand at the altar and offer God to God, this nation may be conquered, trampled upon, enslaved, but it cannot perish. Like the sun that dies every evening, it will rise again from the dead.